In recent news, Moomin has been accused of cheating on his wife with a GTRP partner. Twitch streamer King Caffeine leaked messages between Moon and their RPA. Now if you guys want to read it, just pause the video. After showing the leaked messages, King Caffeine responds in the following. Wife cheated on me with RP partner. Hey everyone, there's not really an easy way to say this, but Gillian Diva Gilly, my wife of 15 years, and the role player of Chauvon on No Pixel GTARP and the love of my life, has apparently been cheating on me for months with a Twitch streamer Moon Moon. Attached you will find their messages from TwitchCon that I found when I was trying to see if she was okay after not responding to my check-in messages. Saturday night. It really saddens me that it came to this after months of assuring me it was all RP. I was sold the lie that it was just about sex positivity and girl bossing, when in reality they were just living out their secret fantasies while both being married. I'm sure their rabid fan bases won't care, but I'm also sure there are plenty of people who will feel vindicated by this, especially those who warn about the dangers of ERP. Thanks, Trav. I got curious after finding these messages and checked other DMs. There were multiple guys she was sending and receiving sexual videos with, all of them in the no-pixel DOJ. No point in attaching these. She would call them her daddy or favorite or whatever pet names, obviously, curating emotional relationships behind my back and then had the audacity to act completely normal at home. Her best friend warned me about this, but I didn't take it seriously. This level of compulsive lying and sociopathy is honestly something I should have seen coming. This is the same person who would be the first to grandstand and virtue signal about any other streamer drama. Since I was unemployed, she told me my job was to check other streams, to give her intel on what people were doing at certain times, to make sure she had the best outcome for her character. This was not fair to anyone involved, and is admittedly very scummy. But hey, it worked. I guess moral of the story is no one is safe and nothing is sacred in this industry. Juan didn't bother reading the dude's post on Twitter. Two chick was in an open marriage. His idea, not hers. Three, I've been separated from my wife for like two months. She's a nice lady, so be nice. Four, never talk to her inappropriately while we did RP sh out of character. No contact, except about game five. TwitchCon was pretty sweet. King Caffeine then fired back in the following. We were not in an open relationship. Why would she talk about cheating and packing her bags? That's not how that works. Moon Moon then was live on Twitch and he responded in the following. Do you think you were lied to about the open marriage thing or is the other guy on Zanny's? I asked multiple times. Multiple times. I was like... Is that truly the case? And she said yes, and I believe her. Uh, I don't, I don't really. The particulars of their relationship is is barely even my concern, right? So. I'm not, I'm not interested in going into the particulars of their relationship. Genuinely don't know what I'd do if I found messages like that from my wife, sent to another dude. The main reason I instantly believe this is Moon never leaves his house, and he went on a one-week vacation to TwitchCon, which he never goes to. The funniest part of this is in one of Moon's streams, before TwitchCon, a viewer jokingly asked him if he had someone lined up at TwitchCon to cheat with. He read that on stream and proceeded to follow through. They were treating no pixel, Twitch, and Discord like an enhanced version of OnlyFans and Tinder. Both are married, Moon has a kid. Moon Moon spent years making fun of Doc, rightfully so, only for him to cheat on his pregnant wife, who he has a son with. Get ready to lose your house, half your income, and have weekend visitations only, buddy. These screenshots are wild. Moon supposedly married with children, talking about busting loads inside an e-girl on Discord. And the e-girl quoting Eminem lyrics about them cheating on their spouses, nah. Also XQC being proven right again as well. 95% of RP relationships end up being IRL relationships. Multiple RP streamers have admitted 99% of RP relationships become real and they know this because people talk in the RP community and share others gossip secrets imagine pretending to love someone for tens of hours a day I can't imagine how hard it would be to do that and not have feelings whether you act on them or not Penta finds out about the moon moon cheating allegations okay. it was happening during TOS <laughs> yes. what yes. while we were playing yes, yes. that's where some of these so it appears basically what happened this wait why, while we were playing yes she so was doing me, what Okay, let me, let me give you the rundown, Penta. Let I didn't rundown. know. I knew it. Yo, everyone was so unlocked last night, and I called it. I was like, why the f is no one paying attention, man? Because she's over there their like. DMs. And I f knew that, man. God damn, dude. I don't give yes. a f about any of this. I'm <laughs> sitting with everyone was so f unlocked, man. What the, that was the biggest crime that was committed. An old clip of Moon Moon seven months ago addressing the ERP. Wouldn't someone who loves his wife so much, comma, not risk losing all that by, in quotes, role-playing a, in quotes, fake relationship? Uh, one, I super love my wife, and I am in a, we are in a very, very good relationship that does not require, uh, you know, my wife be like, mm, you're talking to that, that, that fucking role-play girl. And like, that's, that's the difference between you and me, is that I am, I, I'm trying to role-play a character. I have no feelings for the person on the other end of my roleplay character's fucking shit. I have no intentions of speaking to them out of character any more than is necessary, which I don't. It, it, you, you're, you're projecting what you would be doing in my situation. We're not the same, motherfucker. I am the GOAT! You are a fucking jerk-off, dude. <laughs>
Parasite. Those are not classically trained actors. They're just streamers. I don't believe them when they say they can keep roleplay liking someone and actually liking someone separate because the wires get crossed and even actors struggle with it. Yeah, you don't RP a marriage for hundreds of hours unless there's something there. What is the point of keeping it going longer than is needed to complete some sort of story arc? Plus, the divorce RP would be such free entertainment. Now they've got IRL divorce arcs. Not to mention faking romance in a movie is so much different than doing it live and uninterrupted LMAO. Actors show up, spend eight hours saying the same scripted lines at different angles hundreds of times, making it a little challenge to convey those emotions. These guys are just walking around for eight hours, pretending they're in a relationship LL. Everyone always says it's just RP, and the chatter insecure, don't understand real life, etc. However, just like Nick and Milena fighting constantly, you're not playing a character for four to eight plus hours a day every day. You might be slightly exaggerating, but you'd have to be an insanely talented actor to genuinely be someone completely different almost every single day of your life for years on end. Also, notice how nobody ever said anything about squeaks and laws because their RP was so f***ing obviously not something that would be real. If you're going to RP relationships for content, then make it content. Don't make it pretend relationships.